and later today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. <gasps> 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 Actually, listen to this! I know. 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth? He was able to make it? He was being so cheeky at the summit. He was being so cheeky. And then friends of his were I being know, cheeky I was to us. I thinking that. Yeah. They said we would be There were so many people happy. who were working with him were going, they were just like, just you wait. Just like, wait, prison. They're like wait. saying, just wait, you're gonna be happy. <laughs> oh, I didn't, even when they were kept on saying that, like, you're gonna be happy, I didn't think it would be that. Me neither. I thought maybe somehow D4 was coming. D5 or D, yep, the next yep, D4, yeah, like he'd gotten That's the rights to it. That's what I thought they were it. talking about. I didn't even know he had the rights to make more Deadly Premonition. I didn't know that he had the ability. I thought it was tied up with other companies or like... Holy shit. Wow, it's out now? Oh, Origins. Like the original has been released on Switch or something. Oh my god. It was so confusing whenever it came up because... It it was such an impossibility in my mind. I was like, this. Oh, I this saw it. Yeah, I read it. Cute. I had to look at the two like three times. Like, two. It took me until like <laughs> I saw even that, and then I, <laughs> I still wasn't. Nintendo wins E3. See, this this is what we should have seen at E3. Oh. Deadly Premonition should have been an E3 drop. Oh my god, I'm Nintendo so fucking happy. Nintendo does their happy. own thing. All right, so now I have to like wait till this is over so I can go back and listen to everything that they said. Yes. And this is the part where Fraser. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Lost his mind. Boston, 2019. It's in Boston. It again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The this journey is between past prequel. and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. <laughs> but what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles a Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. Wow, the okay. The game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. God, that music. So good. So, um, it's a prequel. He doesn't have a scar, and obviously, yeah, the way the last game ended, it wouldn't make much sense, I feel like, to have it as a sequel. I just wanted to look for details in the room in there today. that there was showing. Um... I saw a, Ty a, a doctor named Tyrone. So taking place in Boston, which also makes me wonder, is it going to somehow cross over with D4? Is there going to be some sort of cameo? Mm -hmm. That it's the fact that it's taking place in, in Boston. So taking place in Boston in 2000 and what? The then it can't be a prequel, so... Yeah, what the heck? Keep press, but press play. It all begins again when FBI agent. He okay. talks to the FBI agent and it brings up things that happened 14 years ago. I don't remember when Deadly Premonition happened, like the time frame for Deadly Premonition. Well, I don't know what the year was supposed to be in Deadly Premonition, but obviously it wasn't 2019. Yeah, but it's going to take place in like present and. 14 years ago. Yeah, I just remember finishing Deadly Premonition and thinking there's no way that Francis York goes, that there's any more stories for Francis York Morgan. I thought but it was over. But you said over. he doesn't have the scar in this? Not only that, but I don't yeah, want to yeah, say yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't make sense. So I'm saying that there's this time frame mm -hmm. 
events that happened 14 years ago and deadly premonition is somewhere in the middle. Yes, once again, makes no sense really, considering the way deadly premonition in the middle ended, that there's this okay, okay, happening. Okay, okay, okay. Unless they're just not showing what he looks like in present day here. That they're only showing the past here. Maybe that's what's happening. And they've just, in this trailer, chosen not to show. They said 2019, but what you're looking at is nothing to do with the 2019 part of the story. Yeah. Yeah, It's I guess. taking place 14 years ago. Yeah. It's just weird that they would mention... Old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. That, um, yeah. I understood that part. Did you? Okay. Yes, I understood that. I heard that a few times. To an old serial killer case. She also opens a door. Rat man. There's some watch sitting back there, like a collectible in the back, right? Mm. To the unknown. A door that also takes us back. Tyrone Sanders, is that the name of, what was the doctor's name in, in Deadly Premonition? Remember the guy he hangs, uh, hangs out with and plays chess with, or has to do that chess puzzle for? Usher, yeah, Usher, okay, it's, so it's not Tyrone. To New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. Alright, it's gonna be mind-bending, cause yeah, for a post-Deadly Premonition York to be telling, to even be reminiscing about his past, and for two stories to be connected, it's gonna be really interesting how he plays that out. Um, I really wanna play the original again. Is it, it looks like it might be a Switch only, eh? A Switch exclusive. Do you think? It I just wonder. had Switch at the top corner, it didn't have any other Thing. systems, but is that because it's a Nintendo Direct? Could have just been a debut direct. Yeah. I feel like Nintendo would have said coming exclusively. True. That's true. To the Nintendo Switch there. I think the Switch just got the the benefit of the announcement. All right. Well, we'll find out more. I'm gonna go grill Sweary on the Tokyo Game Show floor when it comes next week. I want to go ask him like, well, I don't want to ask him too much because that's mean to like get, try to force a. A yeah. creator to spill their secrets, but I guess I'll, yeah, I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna wait till I play it to find out how he like makes it all gel, like makes yeah, for sure you the story know work. Anything. What I do want to know though is like how long is it? Is it episodic? Will it be episodic? And I guess I also want to know is it, does it tie into D4 somehow? The fact that it, ta if it takes place in Boston. Uh-huh. Is there, will there be a revival of D4 somehow tied to this? He won't say anything. No, he probably He's won't. very, like, tight-lipped. But, um... Fuck yeah. Oh, man! Yeah, kitty girl. Remember, he lives with a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy in D4. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. Can you even believe that you got more excited about something than Overwatch on the Switch? Yeah, but I play Overwatch. I can play it right now. <laughs> that was That's a pretty way, a good way to start the show, too. Remember Overwatch? Yeah, right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the best Nintendo Direct that there ever was. It was a good one. It's about as good as it can get, I think. Um, a little something for you. A lot of something for you. Yeah. A little 